What's up guys, this is Frostburn Wolf and I was just sitting in the office earlier today and when this bad boy showed up uh, I'm sorry for the lack of um, equipment here to do a more professional unboxing or vlog or whatever you might call it uh, First here's a quick uh, face reveal So yeah, that's me um, I'm, I'm now in the office storage and uh, we're gonna check what's inside the box First, let's open it here. Okay. Now, th this thing was is freaking heavy. I mean, the box. Okay. Ready? Ready? Holy shit. Look at that. It's a Predator 21X by Acer. So, look at that. Okay, uh, let's let's pick it up for a while. Fuck, it's so heavy. Uh, let me just put the phone down for a while. Okay. Okay, that's that, that that was heavy. Anyway, uh, this is uh, get away. Anyway, uh, this anyway this uh, this gaming notebook was first announced at uh, I think it was an IFA Germany last year, and then it was showcased again at CES uh, earlier this January. Um, you, you you get your USB type uh, you know, sorry USB three ports here. Ah oh, man, stupid camera. Okay, I'm, I'm using a different phone than my normal one. And um, more ports over here, your SD card, your headphone jack, uh, your, your microphone. Oh, there's a dedicated microphone here for YouTubers, streamers, uh, and uh, more... Uh, whew, I'm out of breath. Uh, USB 3s, and then yeah. So, let's open this up. Let's see what is inside. Uh, first, it has a curved screen at uh, 2K resolution that it says in here. Um, it uses a Cherry MX keyboard. Um, this is a, obviously, obviously this is a touchpad uh, which you can detach and it's attached with a ma magnet and you can clip it up for a num numpad. And the, the magnet is pretty, pretty solid in here. Uh, it has two GTX 1080s over here. As you can see, sorry, my nails are pretty long. Um, it has five cooling fans, and I believe it has 64 gigabyte of RAM. Okay, I mean, conquer the worlds, conquer new worlds. <laughs> look, look at all these lights; it's so pretty. Anyway, uh, uh, anyway. This isn't mine. Uh, I wish it is, uh, where we could play more, uh, more of our let's play videos. Okay, this is a roadblock. It's asking for a password. Um, Acer. No. Password. Nope. Oh shit! What's the password? Uh, predator. Nope. Well, fuck it. Anyway, um, I, I I really wish that uh, I really wish I could play with this. Uh, anyway, it's, it's just here for a couple of um, days. I won't even get to take it home. It's it's around eight kilos. It's eight kilos. Um, curve curve screen looks awesome, obviously. Uh, and if I remember correctly, this thing costs around um, nine thousand US dollars. So. If you have the money, uh, and if you have the money and you want some sort of mobility, like uh, you want to visit your friend and uh, bring your game laptop with you for some reason, then then this thing here is the why not? Why not? Go ahead and take this. But uh, I I still believe that uh, building your own PC is uh, is much more affordable, especially with all the new graphics cards that are much more cheaper these days. And uh, yeah. Conquer new worlds. Acer really went out of their way to to build one uh, one frightening one frightening beast of a gaming laptop. I mean, look, it's so thick, it's so thick. Here, here's here's a here's a tissue roll for for comparison. See, see, it's so freaking thick. See, holy shit, man, get out of here. So yeah, uh, will I buy one? 
If I had the money, uh, probably not. Unless I have a shitload of money. Okay. Um, but, yeah. This thing. If you can get it, get it. And I don't know how to end this. Basically, um, normally I would, I would just uh, do something, so do some random shit. But, anyway, uh, I know this has been a very unprofessional shot. I'm just really, really excited to, to show you guys this. But, uh, uh, and I uh, gave you my most uh, honest reaction. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's an amazing device. Impractical price. Uh, I won't get it unless I have uh, a lot of money. But uh, bottom line, it's an awesome device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep, I keep, I keep repeating that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled programming, which are lame gameplays. Prosper move out.